how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Biv on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbiv.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. All right, so today I'm going to be reviewing the OPI Shine Bright Holiday 2020 collection. I will be doing live swatches, a review, and comparisons of these polishes. There are 15 polishes in the collection, but I only have 12. I did not get the three exclusive glitters. I received six of these polishes from OPI, and the other half of the collection, the other six polishes I received from Beyond Polish. So thank you OPI and Beyond Polish. You guys all know that I love Beyond Polish. I do also have a discount code with Beyond Polish. If you're interested, it doesn't work on any discounted items, but the code is livewithbiv10 if you're interested. So let me go ahead and read a little bit of information about this collection. It says, inside every OPI bottle, there's a world of dazzling color. One shake and it's magic unleashes. This holiday season, we're unleashing the festive world of OPI with one of our sparkliest collections yet. Put on the glitz with 12 new limited edition shades and three exclusive glitters, all in collaboration with Swarovski. Our palette brings to life the joy-filled festivities that spark our imagination with some added crystal glitz to make you dazzle. So whether you're with family, friends, or coming up with creative ways to celebrate, as we all are doing in 2020. We hope it inspires you to shine bright all season long. All right, let's get into the polishes. This first polish is Snow Falling For You. In the OPI description, it says, make every day a snow day with this pink pearlescent shade. This polish does have a nice formula, but it is a metallic, so therefore it is a little bit streaky, but it's still so pretty. This is two coats in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. And then next we have this shade is ornamental. OPI's website says, deck your nails with this velvety rose pink. I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture, and I love this rose polish. I don't think I have anything like it. Although now that I'm looking at this, let it glow may be somewhat similar, so. I may post a comparison of those two polishes on my Instagram, so stay tuned. And then here we have Snow Falling For You compared to Essie Pink Diamond, and this shade is ornamental. I was sure when I saw Snow Falling For You that it would be an Essie Pink Diamond dupe, but it was not. All right, and moving right along, we have Let's Take An Elfie. Like, how cute is this name? Such a cute name and such a pretty color. The OPI's website says, get ready for a fabulous close-up with this shimmery violet purple. So I did this with a matte top coat as well as a shiny top coat, and I love them both. And then here you can see I compared it to Essie Sexy Divide and Zoya Nisha. I would say that Zoya Nisha and Essie Sexy Divide are both more blue than OPI. Let's take an Elfie. Okay, next we have Gingerbread Man Can. <laughs> I love that name, so cute. So the OPI website describes this polish as a bring a little spice to your nails with this shimmery brown. This is a gorgeous polish, a beautiful formula. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, this is a dupe for Essie Mochaccino. But as you can see here, it's not quite a dupe for Essie Mochaccino. I would almost say it's the daughter polish of Essie Teacup Half Full and Essie Mochaccino. And next up, we have Mary in Cranberry. The OPI website says, it's time to be berry and bright with this playful fuchsia shade. I did two coats here in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture, and it's gorgeous. And then here we can see Mary in Cranberry compared to Zoya Coley. I would say if anything, Mary in Cranberry is a little bit more cool toned than Coley. All right, and here we have Dress to the Wines, another name that I love. So the OPI website says, dress your nails to the wines with this red wine shimmer. I love this color of polish for winter time. I just love the deep reds with shimmer. And when I originally swatched this, I was like, okay, this looks very similar to Essie 
sexy from one of the, it was a snake or reptile collection. It was quite a while ago, but it's very similar to that polish. And then I also compared it to Essie Wrapped in Rubies and Ready to Boa. Okay, and then we have our red from the holiday collection. This is Ready for the Holidays. OPI's website says nothing speaks more to the holidays than a classic velvety red. And this is definitely a classic velvety red. I compared this to Zoya Soko from the Zoya Holiday 2020 collection. Essie Cherry on top and Adrenaline Brush. And you can see the slight differences in each of these reds. I would say Zoya Soko is the warmest of these and Cherry on top is the coolest of these. And holy mackerel, this polish is gorgeous. This is Heart and Coal. OPI's website says, little black dress, meet your match with this black glitter. This has beautiful hello glitter in it and I love this polish. I did two coats in this watch picture, two coats in the live swatch, and I'm obsessed. And then you can see here it is compared to Essie Payback's A Witch from the Halloween 2020 collection that Essie released. And here we have to all a good night. This is a beautiful two coater. OPI's website says party until the ball drops with this shimmery midnight blue. It's gorgeous. When I first saw this, I was like, okay, how does this compare to Orly in the Moonlight from the Holiday 2020 collection by Orly? So you're gonna see a comparison here of those two polishes. And I also show a comparison to Zoya Meredith, Zoya Isti, and Essie Broom with a View. Okay, and our silver glitter, because every holiday collection needs a silver glitter. This is Tinsel Tinsel Little Star. OPI's website says, let your nails twinkle like stars with this metallic silver. This polish is a very sheer polish. I did three coats here in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture. I did also try to top this over the red, but it's a little bit too opaque to be a topper. So just give it three coats. It's beautiful. It's a stunning silver shimmer. Here we have it compared to Essie Rock Your World and Zoya Isti. And then here we have Naughty or Ice. Naughty or Ice is a three coater. It's pretty in one if you just want to do one coat just for a little bit of glitter, but it's also pretty in three coats. OPI's website says, wave hello to this champagne shade that shimmers so nicely that you'll wanna paint your nails and check them twice. It's a really gorgeous glitter. I did do a comparison of this polish to Zoya Lottie, and Zoya Lottie and the white from the Essie Love It Frost Sight collection. If you wanna check out in the cards, I will link that above. Okay, then last but not least, we have this gold slays me. The OPI website says slay all day and night with this beautiful metallic gold. I did two coats here in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture. This is a very pretty gold, but it's very, very streaky, as you can see in my swatch picture. And then here I have this shade compared to Essie Million Mile Hues, Essie Good as Gold, and Essie Reflection Perfection. All right guys, so which polish was your fave? I'm going to have to say that my two faves are Heart and Coal. I love the holographic glitters in this, so pretty. And then I also love To All A Good Night. Just kidding. <laughs> so To All A Good Night. To All A Good Night is so pretty. I love how shimmery this one is. I love wearing shimmery polishes during the holiday season. And then just as a sneak peek, we have the Olive and June holiday collection coming next week. So I have not swatched any of these polishes yet, 
Let me know if you have any comparisons that you're interested in. I will be doing a comparison of OMG to Waterfall in Love by Essie. Let me know if there are any other polishes you're interested in seeing a comparison to. And then this one, this one is Yes Please. So pretty. I'll be comparing this to In the Cabana by Essie. And then this polish, oh, this is Besties. I'm not even sure if I still have this polish, but it looks a lot like Essie Ruffles and Feathers. I'll have to see if I have it so I can compare that for you guys. And then of course there are these exciting glitters. These are so pretty. Love them. So the silver glitter is exclamation point. And the, <laughs> I love the names. Go Olive and June. It was so hard to remember initials of people's names. So I love these. So this one's Obvi, Obvi. <laughs> so that's a pretty gold glitter. I'll go ahead and show you the others up close here. This is Obsessed. And then we have Nail Fee Time. Oh, such cute names. Yay, Olive and June. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then this one, aw, XOXO. This is a really pretty pink. I'll be excited to see how this compares to some Essie pinks. So, all right, just a few things. Let me know which polish from the OPI Shine Bright Collection is your fave, and then let me know if you have any requests for comparisons for the Olive and June Holiday 2020 Collection. Otherwise, hope you guys all have a great week, have a great Sunday, love you all, bye.